thanks so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Um, I wanted to do a video not mainly based on the monthly Ipsy bags but using and incorporating um, some of the things that I got in my Ipsy bag to the look that I did today. So it comes with some well, mine did at least come with some pretty eyeshadows, um, a brush. I'll show you guys in a minute. But um, also wanted to show you guys some of the things that I have gotten recently. So bronzers, lashes. I have my Lena lashes on today, and they are the most amazing lashes I have ever worn. I love them. And um, obviously, they're People were going crazy over the Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks. I have on the shade Sad Girl. So, really excited to show you guys that today. I'll talk a little bit about the Ipsy bag that I got this month. Obviously, I'm not going to have the exact same things that a lot of you guys got um, in your bag, but um, I'm sure, you know, some of you do have the products that I got and hopefully you can kind of work around and work with some of the items that you have in the bag with this video today. So basically the Ipsy bag is this guy right here. It's pretty nice. Um, I really like the material because you can really use it for travel and everything. Um, so it's got like a nice blue side and then a white side on the other end and it's got a nice like neon coral zipper. Um, so really great for travel. And then what I got in my bag is I got a little sample of some moisturizer it's called good day day moisturizer and it is natural anti-aging botanicals so it's supposed to be really good for you um i did try a little bit when i first got it and i honestly i'm gonna smell it again but i didn't really like the smell very much um when i first took a whiff of it yeah i mean it's just kind of it's pretty earthy smelling and i I like something that's a little more like fruity, natural fragrance, so I don't know, I wasn't a big fan of the, the smell of this, but it does feel really good. I've been using it on my hands um, and on my arms a little bit too, and I really like the way it feels, um, especially I live in Chicago, so it's very cold right now, and my skin's been really dry, so this has been working pretty nice for me. The next item that I got in my bag was the really pretty blue nail color which I have on today um, to be honest when I got this color I wasn't the biggest fan because I don't really wear a lot of light like pale baby blues on my nails but honestly it proved me wrong um, when I put it on I really like the way it looks on my skin tone yeah I just I like it I mean I think it's a really great color for going into the spring summer time so I can really see myself wearing this um, it's the brand Pro Bell and it's in the shade into the blue so a really pretty color and I'm sure everybody got this the snow color next product I got um, I love getting brushes in my ipsy bag and I was really excited to get the Elizabeth Mott um, eyeshadow brush and it's really nice it's a nice flat top but really great for and you'll see in the video later on I'm using this to really kind of contour um, right in the crease I have this like dark shade right in the crease over there so I really um, kind of pressed and pushed the shadow in with this brush. So I, I really like the way it um, helps define uh, the shape of the eye, like really getting the shadow into the, the corners of the crease. I got two shadows in my bag. I was really excited. Um, usually I've always just gotten one, but I got, got two. 100% vegan, cruelty-free, um, formulated without any FD and C colors, paraben and petroleum-free. So always a plus especially for those of you that are vegan out there um, and this color is really gorgeous I actually have it in my inner corner and under my brow here and it's just a gorgeous um, highlight color here I'll show you guys so just really pretty so yeah this is awesome for highlighting um, also brightening the inner corner of the eyes and then the the last product I got um, is a loose shadow this is 
by Bella Pierre Cosmetics and it is in the shade Celebration. So it's really gorgeous gold color. As you can see, I have it um, layered onto my eyelid right over here and kind of reminded me of the Bare Minerals Loose Eyeshadows. As if you don't already know, I've mentioned Bare Minerals in like every video of mine. <laughs> and uh, But anyways, they first came out with loose eyeshadows. That's the first type of eyeshadow they came out with and so that's kind of what it reminds me of. And it's just this gorgeous gold color right there. So those are the product, pro ugh, I can't talk. Those are the products I got in my Ipsy bag and I was honestly very happy um, with the bag this month so I was really excited to do a tutorial on it today. There are a few other items um, like a new bronzer I got finally got my Lena lashes in yesterday and I was I couldn't even sleep last night I'm like I can't wait to do a video um, but I got my Bianca lashes and I have them on right now and they are insane I've never worn a pair of lashes like these in my life and they're gorgeous I didn't even have to wear because the band is so thick I didn't have to wear any eyeliner um, and I love that. I just didn't feel like wearing eyeliner today and I feel, feel like any type of lashes that give the effect of, you know, like you have like a natural line going, you know, kind of tight lined on your lashes, um, I feel like that's a plus. I'm obsessed with them and I cannot wait to wear them and buy some more from her because they're amazing. Um, I do have another pair that I ordered and I'm waiting for them to, to come in the mail, but I thought I'd start off with the Bianca lashes today. So if you would like to learn how I created this look, oh, I also forgot to mention, how did I forget to mention this? Um, Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick. I obviously have on the Sad Girl liquid lips um, lipstick on today. Um, if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do, I do, um, post a lot of the newer products that I purchase and get in the mail and Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick is obviously one of them. I can't get enough of it. Um, Sad Girl is a gorgeous color. It, I'm more of a, a medium olive skin tone so you know people can really you know like compare it to their skin tone. Um, obviously anybody that's a lot more fair than me it's gonna look a lot deeper um, and then anybody who's a lot darker skin tone it's gonna look a lot more purple so all in all still a great color for every skin tone and I highly recommend it it's so beautiful um, but yes I have that on today and I show you how to apply that um, without it Honestly, this doesn't bleed without any lip liner, but I did have to apply a lip liner, so you'll kind of see how I go about applying that. But yes, if you'd like to learn how I created this look, please keep watching, please subscribe, thumbs up if you enjoy this video, and um, follow me on Instagram if you'd like to keep up and learn a little bit more on what I love and like to do. So, uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. So I went ahead and primed my face with the Hourglass Mineral Primer. Um, and then also made sure that I primed my eyes as well with the NYX HD Eyeshadow Primer Base. I'm going in with that first shade uh, by Makeup Geek, that's the shade Coco Bear, and I'm taking a defining eyeshadow brush um, and just kind of fluffing that into the crease of the eye and then going back and blending it in. So you really want to make sure you're adding um, quite a bit of definition and really concentrating at the inner and the outer corners of the eye. I'm also making sure I pull it out so it nicely blends in with the soft liner that I'm going to apply later. Next I'm taking the shade Bitten also by Makeup Geek and pressing that um, a little more defined in the outer corner and then also taking it into the crease a little bit heavier too.
So almost kind of creating a very subtle cut crease with this and also kind of blending it out, kind of winging it out on the ends. I'm also making sure I concentrate it at the inner corners of the eyes as well. This shade is gorgeous. It pairs perfectly with the Cocoa Bear eyeshadow color um, to really give a nice warm um, blazed effect to the eyes. Next, going in with the Bella Pierre Cosmetics eyeshadow in the sh in the uh, in the shade Celebration. Um, I got this in my Ipsy bag, as I mentioned earlier in the video, and I'm just pressing this on to the center of my eyelid. As you can see, it kind of creates a nice, um, almost sandwich effect with the two shadows on the inner and the outer corners of the eye. So it really um, gives a lot more focus to the gold in the center of the eye. Going back with that crease defining brush, I am just softening and blending everything out in the crease. Then I'm going in with my MAC Cosmetics um, eyeshadow in the shade Beauty Marked and taking that Elizabeth Mott eyeshadow brush and just very softly pressing that dark shade in the outer crease of the eye. I'm not doing a whole lot of buffing to begin with because I don't want to get that dark shade all over. I want to give it a little bit more of a, a cut crease effect and a little bit of a heavier effect to the outer corner of my crease. You want to make sure you kind of take your time with this. Notice I'm just really taking it deep into the crease and then more so doing pressing motions on the outer part of the eye. And then you can go back and blend. Then I'm taking that shade Ethereal by, the, by Pacifica Cosmetics. And I'm taking a flat brush and just sweeping that right underneath my brows. Next, I'm going to tight line um, my top lashes, uh, taking an angled brush and a Bare Minerals eyeshadow in the shade Black Tie Optional. Um, you could use any type of black eyeshadow with this. I use something a little more subtle, nothing too dramatic. And I am just pressing that as close to the lash line as I can get. Then my Lena lashes. I was really excited to try these. Um, I didn't know what to expect because they are a very thick band, um, but I did get used to them. They were a little heavy at first, but your eyes do get used to them after a little while. Um, if you are first time lash wearers, it is something that I would not recommend um, for you to get used to right away. So I would recommend you know trying some more natural type lashes um, and then kind of building it to more dramatic a little bit later um, but still all in all absolutely gorgeous brand of lashes she did a really good job with these so I just curled my lashes and mascara them to prep them for the the falsies 
And as you can see, I was like trying to make sure they fit okay because I did tight line um, some black shadow and I didn't want it to look kind of awkward because I wasn't wearing any eyeliner with this and I pushed him up a little bit to kind of make him look a little more natural then my all-time favorite foundation brand from Hourglass I am going in with the immaculate liquid powder foundation this is mattifying um, I have mentioned that I am very oily skin type um, a little more combination in the, in the winter time, but um, still produce some oil. Um, so I do love this foundation and love the way it looks. I did put on the Hourglass Mineral Primer on, um, as you saw in the beginning. Um, reason I did this one, I don't usually wear that primer, but I did today because my skin was a little flaky, um, just a little bit dehydrated because it was... Um, very dry the past few days so I felt like the mineral primer really helped um, smooth out the surface of my skin Then I went in and concealed. I'm using my Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer. This is in the shade Medium 1. And just going over the areas where there's still a little bit of scarring and breakouts peeking through under the foundation. I'm also taking it underneath my eyes. I have bags and dark circles, so I feel like this concealer really helps hide those very well. Then to brighten the center of my face and under the eyes, I'm going in with my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. Uh, this stuff is awesome, especially it being a drugstore brand. Um, I have been very, very impressed with this product. Um, I just feel like it looks so natural. I do use my beauty blender to apply this and blend this in, but I just feel like it gives a really nice flawless finish and nice brightening effect to the center of my face. Then going in with my Beauty Blender, as I mentioned earlier, I'm just going to gently pat that until it's all smooth and blended in. I'm going in with my BH Cosmetics Forever Nude Sculpt and Glow Contour Kit and taking that bright yellow color and just using that as a setting powder today. Um, this is also going to help play up that uh, Maybelline um, eye and face brightener that I just applied. So it's really going to help kind of set that because it is more of a powder base and help give it a little bit more of a, a dewy brightening effect.
Then one of the best products I have bought so far in the new year, this is the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. I love the smell of this. Um, matte bronzer. Um, and I'm just using a round face brush to apply this. Reason why I smelt this and made that face was because this bronzer is actually made out of um, cocoa powder. So it smells, it actually smells like chocolate. I mean, who wouldn't like that? <laughs> and also the fact that it is a matte finish is like a hundred plus points for my skin type. It just works so beautifully and it sh keeps me shine free and just really plays up anytime I contour. I wanted a very soft contour with this look, so I used, as you saw, that big brush um, as well as took a smaller brush and just kind of blended um, the contour out on my nose. And then I'm going back with my Beauty Blender and just kind of cutting through the contour on the cheekbones and kind of brightening the center of my face a little bit more anywhere where the bronzer is making me look a little bit more muddy in the center of my face. Then I am going back to the eyes and tight lining on my bottom lash line right there. I'm using that same eyeshadow color black tie optional by Bare Minerals. Then going in with a Sonia Kashuk brush, and I cannot remember the number of this, but I will list it down below along with everything else. Um, I am going back to that Coco Bear eyeshadow by Makeup Geek and just softening that black shadow liner that I applied on my lower lash line. I did go in with some black eyeliner and line my upper waterline just to play up the false lashes a little bit more. You don't have to do this, but I do feel like it, it helps. Um, your natural lashes blend better with your false lashes. And then I went um, in and mascaraed my bottom lashes. To brighten up the inner corner of my eyes, I 
went back to that Pacifica eyeshadow in the shade Atherol and just applied this close to my tear duct. And for brows, I did a little magic trick and filled them in um, so I didn't have to bore you guys with that. For blush, I am going in with a Bare Minerals blush color. This is the shade Confession. I wanted to keep the face looking pretty neutral. Um, I really wanted the main focus to be on the eyes and the lips um, for this look, so I really went in and blended that blush color with the the bronzer that I applied. Now for the lips, I am lining my lips with the Rimmel lip liner in the shade Obsession. And I go in and ombre that in a little bit as well. And then my Anastasia liquid lipstick. I love this product. I'm like obsessed with it. <laughs> um, I just went ahead and applied this all over like you normally would with a liquid lipstick. Um, but the reason why I did use a lip liner, my lips are pretty flat against my skin. I am not lucky like most people where they can just apply it and not have it feather and kind of get all over the place and out of the lines. So I need to line my lips before applying any type of really dark, dramatic lipstick. And then I did go back and clean up the edges a little bit, um, just using some concealer. And that is my look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, for more, please visit colorgold.com. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys soon.